Does God exist? Is God omnipotent? Is he all loving? Is God all knowing? These are questions that bothered me more than a decade ago. Most human beings would answer yes to all these questions. But the most crucial characteristic for today's video is going to be God's omniscience, his foreknowledge and its implications on free will. If God is omniscient, he knows everything. He knows the future. If he knows the future, the future is fixed. If the future is fixed, it will only turn out one way. What does it mean for our free will? Logically, how on earth can we be free beings if the future is fixed? After years of unbiased personal research, exploration and thinking, here I am an atheist. But let's just grant for the sake of this video that God does exist. I just wanted to throw God out of the picture once and for all in our free will project before we jump into more philosophy. Which is to say that even if you believe in God, it's possible for you to be a non-believer in free will. Even if you grant God exists, no free will will still be the logical position you will be led to. Can we reconcile God's foreknowledge with human free will? God's knowledge is perfect. He knows everything with absolute certainty including the future. If God has perfect knowledge about the future, he can't be wrong. Everything that will happen, we will have to confirm to God's foreknowledge. We won't be able to go against that. Whatever God knows will happen is what will happen. And he knows all your decisions that you will ever take in your life even before you were born. This simply necessitates your inability to do anything else than what you actually will do. If God knows that you will end up liking this video, you will definitely like it. You're not free not to like it. So the theological determinism argument goes like this. God is omniscient. He knows everything. Since he knows everything, he knows the future. Since he knows the future, the future is set. It is fixed. Since the future is fixed, nothing could happen otherwise than how they actually do happen. Since nothing can happen otherwise than what divine foreknowledge permits, there is no ability to do otherwise. Free will requires the ability to do otherwise. Conclusion, there is no free will. So I was planning on making a long video covering most aspects for the subtopic God and free will. And I have actually shot the whole video already in one stretch. But perhaps as a blessing in disguise, Due to some technical issues, I will be uploading short videos rather. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned and stay curious. I'll see you in a bit.